Hello, my name is Richard Spillman, and I am the Education Coordinator from the Delta Cultural Center. And as part of Black History Month, we're talking about a very important part of Arkansas politics. His name was William Gray. Now, William Gray, like many people who are involved in politics during the Arkansas Reconstruction period, was actually not from uh, Arkansas originally. He was actually from Washington, D.C. Later, his family moved to Pennsylvania, and then they moved to Cincinnati. Then in the early, uh, when he was in his early 20s, his parents actually passed away from a chloria epidemic, and then he moved to St. Louis, Missouri. It was here that he met his wife, and then he would go on to uh, you know, work as a chef for uh, several different steamboats for a while, going up and down the Mississippi and the Ohio rivers, and he was a preacher there for a while as well. He really didn't move to Arkansas until 1865. And while he was here in 1865, he started off here as a grocer. William Gray became involved with politics almost immediately. Back in that same year, 1865, he spoke at a convention in Little Rock for the Republican Party. Uh, in 1867, he, along with seven other delegates, spoke to the Constitutional Convention. While he spoke for them, he spoke on a lot of very important topics at that time. The right to vote, the right to own land. Uh, the education, all those were very important to him. And he's, he's so adamant about it, spoke so strongly about it, that he actually spoke 25 times uh, against pro-Confederate Democratic legislation. And so this is actually a picture of William Gray. This is what William Gray uh, would have looked like in this artist's rendition. And William Gray felt so strongly about some things that this is just an excerpt from something he spoke about. He mentioned this. He said, we are here to receive the amount due us from the state of Arkansas. Pay us, sir, the rights and privileges due us as citizens of the United States and the state of Arkansas. And he felt that African Americans had been in suppression for so long that they, had, they, they were due these privileges that everybody else received. It wasn't long after this when Gray would actually go off and be a part of, of national politics. He worked as a circuit clerk for a while. Then he was the commissioner of immigration. He was the first African American to speak and support a U.S. president. He seconded the motion to make Ulysses S. Grant president of the United States. During this time, however, it wasn't without problems, and he actually had a stroke back in the 1870s. He eventually moved back to Arkansas, and he became a county clerk during that time. And then later, he would suffer a second stroke back in 1878. He never fully recovered from this, and in 1888, he passed away. Currently, he is buried in Magnolia Cemetery. And so if you have a chance to run by Magnolia Cemetery and see the graveyard site of William Gray, take a look at it and, and know the importance of this political figure. At, William Gray is a very important person. He, along with other African-American politicians, are very important in the Reconstruction era at helping start to get the, the rights that African Americans needed from this time out and in the future.